That was good, just almost so close. So close. I'm gonna call that a clear. I think he, I think he got it. His back wheel kind of clipped it, but I mean, I'm not that critical of him. <laughs> good job, you guys. Great teamwork. Mason, how do you like your new bike? It's good. You think it's gonna be good? Yeah. Nice, so let's give a big thank you to our buddy Benny over here. Do you go by Benny or do you go by Ben? It doesn't matter. Uh, this is Benny, we just met him for the first time and this is his bike, so he let, let us buy it from him. So Mason's gonna be shredding on this thing yeah. in no time. So make sure you go check out uh, Benny on Instagram. He was killing it today, he was showing us what's up, hitting some of these big jumps with ease, no problem. So thank you very much. And yeah. we'll ride again sometime, all right? As you know, this is Mason's new bicycle. I think it's gonna be a game changer. I think he's gonna like it a lot. It is a 20 inch spawn dirt jumper. So the wheels are obviously a lot bigger than his 16 inch BMX bike. It's gonna jump better, it's gonna handle bumps better, it's just gonna ride smoother. I think he's gonna like it, but this actually isn't the biggest announcement on our channel right now. We actually decided to go ahead and sell both the kids BMX bikes. Mason's 16 inch was too small for him anyways, Luke's 18 inch was too small for him. Eventually, we'll probably get BMX bikes again. I'm sure we will. But for now, we just kinda wanna do something different. We wanna kinda mix it up. So we sold the BMX bikes so that we could get another dirt jumper. So admittedly, I actually don't know a lot about mountain bikes and I especially don't know a lot about dirt jumpers other than they're really hard to find. I was looking online, I was trying to find a 24 inch for Luke. I think a 24 inch would be perfect. Couldn't find anything, I found this one. It's a 26 inch, it looks good, I tested it out, it rides good. So I figure what the heck, I'm gonna get it for him, I'm gonna let him try it, see how he handles the 26. Ironically, the 20 inch is actually a little bit small for Mason. I feel like he'll probably ride that for about six months to a year and eventually we'll have to get him something a little bit bigger, but for now, I think that'll do even though it's a little bit small for him and then this one will be a little bit big for Luke, but I think it might work. We'll take him out, we'll let him try it, see how he does. Worst case scenario, he doesn't like it and then I just have to keep it for me. Yeah, like get one more crank in. Yeah, make sure you're standing up, get a good crank and a pull up. Okay. If you want, I'll do it. No, like, you know, like if you're gonna ride off a curb, and you want your wheels to land on the street at the same time, pull up that much. Once you do it once, you'll be like, well, that was nothing. 
yeah but you want to make sure that your front wheel is still up when your back wheel goes off you don't want to pull your front wheel off and then it stalls out and then drops you want it to go up long enough for the back wheel to make it over the edge okay from um thing it's about this much but from the last log it's about this much Easy? Yeah, I didn't even really pull up. Yeah, you probably could have... You probably could have pulled up a little bit more on that, but... Good job. Good job. Go Mace, you got it. Yeah! Yeah! Dude, you got it. Here comes Mason, we don't know where his helmet is, so. What? Mason! You cleared that sucker. Just kidding. We know where his helmet is. It's over there on the, uh, it's conveniently located over there on the bench for some reason. Okay, Luke. The one thing I don't like about these uh, berms right here is that the bank is on the outside as you're exiting the turn. I think it should be steeper on the inside of the turn so that way you could really carve into it and carry more speed. By the time you slow down going into the turn at this point, you're, you're really not gonna be able to maintain your speed um, up the wall because you already had to slow down to make the turn. Same thing with this one over here, which has kind of made it so it's hard for the kids to jump this tabletop. But at least they're getting this one, that one's rad. Stoked on, on you guys doing that. What? Sweet. Nailed it. I owe you. Oh. Dude. Dude, you did it. But my tire almost fell off. I didn't know if that was possible, Mason. Nice. How do you like your new bike, Mason? Dad. Well, yeah. Good. How do you like your new bike, Luke? These freaking dirt jumpers are great, dude. You like, like the dirt so jumper much style? Better you made the than, suspension uh, actually bike. better. The suspension but helps. Yeah. yeah, and they're just so much easier to jump. Like, I thought it would be really hard because the bars on the BMX bikes are, like, turned out this way. Yeah. And these ones are just straight. But it's actually a lot easier, and the handling is so much better. Yeah, yeah definitely. These handle a lot better on the dirt, that's for sure. Your last bike was an 18 inch. This is a 26. I was a little worried that's a little big for you, but it looked like you handled it all right. What do you think? Yeah. That thing was sweet, so easy to ride. You can handle the 26 all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet, that's good to know. Mason, great job. Yeah.